Yakima police are asking everyone to be on the lookout for a 30 year old man. They say fatally shot a 32 year old victim early Monday morning while stopped at an intersection. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell spoke to police who believe the suspect may have followed the victim and his friend from a local restaurant. More than two dozen people have been killed in Yakima County so far this year. From the terror of gunshots and stabbings. The latest, a 32-year-old man fatally shot early Monday morning at a Yakima intersection, just yards from the Circle K where a gunman opened fire earlier this year and killed three people. It just seems like a coincidence in that area. It's unfortunate. Um, I think that our officers are doing a good job of trying to, to curb some of the violent crime in our city, but um, we're asking for the public's help in that also. To find the suspect in Monday's homicide, 30-year-old Juan Rosales Montes de Oca, who police say was identified through witness interviews, surveillance video, and flock cameras. He may be in the area, may have fled to another state. Obviously, if you see him, please call 911. Police say the victim, two of his friends, and Rosales were all at a restaurant on First Street. And when the victim and his friends got into a car, the victim sitting in the front passenger seat, Rosales followed them out. We're unsure of their interaction at the at the restaurant. It sounds like there was some type of interaction while they were driving down the roadway. So it's believed that they don't know each other at this point. Court documents show that when both cars stopped at the stoplight on South 18th Street and East Knob Hill Boulevard, Rosales motioned for the driver to roll down the window. When they rolled their window down, the shots were fired, at least one shot, into the um, victim vehicle striking the man who passed away from his injuries. Authorities say if you're ever in a situation where someone asks you to roll down your window at a stoplight and you don't know what they want. Maybe somebody trying to help you, but um, obviously look at the circumstances and if you're very uncomfortable, call 911 and say this person's trying to contact me. If the person keeps following and you're afraid to stop, you can also drive to the nearest police station and they'll come out to make sure you're safe. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Now in this particular case, if you see the suspect but you want to remain anonymous, you can also contact Yakima County Crime Stoppers either online or by calling their number. That's 1-800-222-TIPS.